The Atlanta Falcons have officially played their first preseason game. And in this video, I'm going to break down what I think about it, what I thought happened, and what I saw that was is good and not so great for the future. Now, overall, I think the Atlanta Falcons did compete. They ended up losing um, uh, by one touchdown, but there was a lot to break down in this film and in this game. Um, we actually saw Michael Penix get the, his first start, but... The big kind of heavy topic of this game is, is DeMarco Helms. He had um, he basically went out with the injury. There was an air cast around his lower um, leg area. I think it was his foot, but wishing for a speedy recovery for DeMarco Helms. Um, but that means we're gonna have to have a lot of individual step up from that defensive perspective, from that from that secondary perspective. But back to the game. Now I think Michael Penix started. He started off pretty decently but he, he ended up hitting the rhythm um most notable he made this pretty good sideline throw i think it was like 20 or 30 yards down the sideline hit an individual in stride i think it might have been a cover two and he hit that kind of a hole um in that gap basically between the safety and then the corner so it was a really 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 good throw he had pretty good command of the offense and i'm pretty pr pleased with him um, he missed some throws. He missed one, notably one out that I wish he would have had back. He just kind of overshot him. But for the most part, he operated the offense pretty well. He only played about a quarter and a half, um, and then they ended up bringing Taylor Heineke in. But for the most part, Michael Penix played pretty decently, and his, his expectations were pretty good for a rookie QB quarterback. Now, some other notable topics. One, our defensive line kind of came to play. We had a bunch of guys running around around and I think this is what uh, Terry Fontenot and Raheem Morris once in the season no Grady Jared didn't pay, play no David Onyemata did not play but for the most part Ruka Roy, Brandon Dorless, um, Zion Logue they had um, um, a bunch of individuals rotating out and that defense kind of caused some some havoc on, on, for Miami and that is something that I'm really excited to see especially out of that defensive line and so that is one positive that I can take away from this game that I saw and I'm excited about going for it for the Atlanta Falcons. One negative that I really didn't like too well is our second like our second string offense offensive line. I think they kind of struggled a little bit. We struggled to get the run game going. We relied on Michael Penix to pass a lot, but for the most part, we should have established that run game. And I think our second string offensive line could use some help. They struggled at points um, maintaining pass rush. They struggled at points blocking to that first and second level for, for run it, from the running plays. And good thing they're not our first string line. Um, because we'd be in a heap of trouble. Another negative that I saw was honestly Taylor Heineke. I think he just, he kind of looked disinterested to be completely honest. There's a lot of people know him from the first play. Well, that first mishap that he made where the ball fumbled and he kind of let it go because he thought it was a false start. But a lot of people were saying, hey, he should have jumped on it just in case. And lo and behold, the refs did not call that a false start and Miami got the ball back. So I think for, for the most part, Taylor Heineke did not look great. Um, he was missing some open throws, some throws. He was kind of telepathing and telling the defense he was going to throw there. And I don't think he had a great showing. And to be completely honest, it looks like he sees the writing on the wall. It looks like he's like, hey, I'm probably not going to be on this team for a little longer. I would have anticipated him coming out, playing a really good game to show, hey, other teams, this is who I am. This is the film. But I think a mixture of him just not having that sense of urgency, as well as that second string offense, not being offensive line, not being the best really 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 impacted him and i think it did not look good for the offense going back to another positive positive casey washington is a really good player i think i would like to see him get some reps with you know obviously kirk cousins and and play that inside slot receiver but he is an athletic receiver who can make plays down the field and i really like his game i foresee him being a kind of a a steal in the draft if he can continue to stay on the track he is continue to develop continue to learn in this zach robinson offense so i really 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 enjoyed casey washington and to be honest i would say our second string dbs came to play i know demarco helms went out but uh i think king got an interception and they played pretty well for the most part. Um, 
throughout the game. There wasn't really that many just deep balls thrown over top, and there really wasn't that many completions within that intermediate to deep routes. It was everything short, and it was just getting yards after catch. And then another negative um, is our second string linebackers. J.D. Bertrand, uh, he didn't look the greatest. Um, there were some times where he was – not getting off the block he kind of missed missed tackles and so i just think it's just him getting up to speed getting up to the, the level and the talent of the game but i think we missed a lot of run fits from a linebacker perspective and that is the reason why um miami was able to move the ball so effectively not because they were just throwing it over the top on us but because they were running the ball pretty well so but those are my recaps, my highlights for the game. I think overall the Falcons played okay. I think I would like to see how they play with obviously their starters. Um, but I did see some good good plays from Michael Penix, Casey Washington. And that defensive line, I think they're going to add some of that needed depth that we need from Fort David, Ayamada, and Grady Jarrett. But they lost. I can see, you know, why they lost. Um, was it a great showing by the Falcons? No, but it's preseason. And so I wouldn't really worry. I will also say this. I did like Jimmy Lake's defense. It looks like he he, he, he was dialing up pressure at the right points of time. Looks like there were players in the in the position to make plays, but they just weren't making them. And so I, you can always say, hey, I don't think it's a scheme issue. It's more of a player and the players in the game issue. So overall, pretty, pretty pleased still with the Atlanta Falcons. I know we got a lot of work to do, a lot, a lot to clean up, but I would like to start to seeing some of these starters be slowly incorporated. And I can see why they rest everyone because somehow we have the injury bug already. Two big names are out for us, but that's okay because I feel it and I feel like the Atlanta Falcons on the rise. But if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. If you want to see more videos like this, check this one out right here. And like always, peace.